black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah.
Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're doing very well today. I am doing pretty good myself because I am having a steak taco fiesta here. Uh, these are very on the fly. I didn't know what I was going to get up to. I looked in the freezer, I looked in the fridge, and this is what it all came to. Um, very super random, kind of different. It's on some like almost Thai, really umami with some crunchy bits, mushrooms, like you know what I mean? So I'll explain it. Uh, you saw the cooking segment of it. Um, probably not my most fancy, best cooking segment, but you know, I just had to throw something together uh, for this. Probably could have a little went higher on the production value and probably shot it in my actual normal zone where I usually shoot, but neither here nor there. I'm excited to get into this. I'm very, very starving. Um, yeah, not much left to do but to crush and just chat about whatever this and some things. So, okay, cool. <laughs> now, before we do anything more, we must pour. Iceberg on deck, light breach, minimal. Dr. P though is, uh, is here to share its delicious self with us. So we go in. It, uh, it became obvious to me in one of my one recent videos, I put the flatbread <coughs> video up and I didn't have a pour up in it. And I guess the pour up has been so constant that people have gotten really, really used to it and kind of attached to it, which is understandable. It's a beautiful moment between me, you, fizzy drinks, Jack and Rose, you know, and delightful sips with full breach. We now have full breach now that we're floating, now that we're floating, floating. Somebody commented in the video saying, I didn't know how much I'd miss the pour up until there wasn't one. And that comment got some love. Some other people were pretty sad about it too. So it turns out the pour up is, uh, it's a thing, you know, nationwide. Okay. So see if we can untuck one of these bad boys and just kind of list off everything that's on it. So basically what happened was, is the other day I went grocery shopping. I saw these T-bone steaks. They were on for a good deal. I grabbed them. I was all hyped and jazzed to eat them. And then somewhere along the way, I just kind of like lost my pizzazz for them so I chucked them in the freezer which is good that's the good thing with steak is you can just throw them in the freezer and I saved them for another day and today is that day and I came up with these but I want to bite it and then we'll talk more The ear. A subscriber of mine one that I know quite well. She pointed out that I'm always touching my ear, this ear. And now I notice it in all my videos, so I gotta stop doing it. good so I guess the first thing I need to address with this is that yes I cooked the steak to well a little bit on accident but I will say this <clears throat> when I'm having a steak like alone by itself I like it like medium when I make steaks for in things like a sandwich or in a, like a taco like this, I prefer it more well done because it tears off easier and it doesn't come out of the, the housing unit. 
bread, bun, tortilla, what have you. So that's actually a preferential thing for me. Of course, we got the melted cheese. Got the sauteed mushrooms, oil, white wine vinegar. Give them a nice little bite. I also brought these roasted garlic. Oh, roasted garlics. I want to include that in a bite. Probably do that right now, actually. Have a flavor explosion. Because roasted garlics, you know, I'll take this back one. Roasted garlics. are insane flavor explosions. Y'all know that looks wholesome and delicious and like a nice little home jam, you know? Wow. Just hit the whole garlic. Stupid. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Then I had this bag salad. It's like a chopped salad. Kind of like a coleslaw. But they're these... A shout out to them. They're the best. If you guys have them in your stores, get them. Like four or five bucks. Probably in America, like two or three. Pre-made. They got all this stuff in them. The crunchy bits. You got the dressing. It's a conceptualized salad. This one's Thai. And I love Thai dressing. It's like... Like a sesame... Flavored dressing. So good. And I wanted to use just the dressing amount. For moisture and sauce. It's holding up pretty well. I mean coming from me. I know you guys fully expected me to be having like a bunch of other sauce but because there's so much going on in this I wanted to like really taste everything in cahoots with each other you know I'm loving the texture of, of these. A lot of cool things going on in here.
Let me know down in the comments. If you ever do that, go to the grocery store. Buy yourself something like nice or that you're excited to eat. And you like get home. You like don't want it anymore. That or on the way home from the grocery store, you stop and got like A little McDonald's. A little something something from somewhere. And it just blew your appetite. Or blew your crave. I'm guilty of that. I'm also guilty of going grocery shopping, starving, which is a no-no. Because I always over shop. I always over purchase. I get carried away. Creating all these like dream scenario meals like right in the moment. Because my crave. Is on high alert. And you tend to buy the bad stuff. I gotta say this. Most of my homemade meals... I've made on here I usually make look swaggy and beautiful and like really good this is one where aesthetically pretty ugly both pretty and ugly but real talk. Not a very uh, gorgeous combo of colors. I'd be lying if I told you that I wasn't struggling on this last one. I don't know if you can tell how big these tortillas are on the camera, but four of these is hefty.
definitely was starving though and smash ready I'm at the point. That I'm good. It was really good. For something just very random that I had no idea that I was going to make. Really quite delicious. No complaints. That's going to do it for that one though. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.